game to us, especially this time of the year. Uh, we really need to finish the season, play our best football of the year right now. Um, it's really a grind for everybody to keep sort of focused in practice on doing what they need to do to create the right habits so you can go out there and perform. Uh, this is a very talented team, uh, and we certainly can't uh, get in a position where we allow them to dictate to us. We got to go try to, you know, uh, play our best and execute, not give them opportunities because they certainly have talent to take advantage of it. So uh, that's certainly the focus right now. Okay, we will get things started with Brett Hudson. Go ahead, Brett. Uh, hey, Coach, I'm curious how much you know about your timeline to coming back to in-person activity with the team if everything goes well with the testing, like if you'll be able to travel with the team or when you'll be able to have in-person contact with them. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be back shortly. That's a medical decision. Um, when I can come back, I'm, I'll, I'll be totally 100% with the team. So, um, and that's something that's going to happen in the very near future. Go to Michael Casagrande. Yeah, just wondering uh, what your thoughts were on offensive efficiency statistics or analytics, and are there any of them that you follow closely? No, not really. Um, the one I follow the most closely is do we win? And are we doing the things that contribute to winning? Um, and I do look at those things on occasion, but, you know, as I've told you in the past, explosive plays, um, turnovers, you know, those things really impact – winning and losing. Um, so I, I've never been real big on that kind of stuff. I do think that efficiency though, uh, and not just being a big little team. Um, when I say that, I mean, you know, that you, you have consistently good plays in the game, not a good play, a bad play, a good play, a bad play. All right. Cause you want the guys to be focusing on doing the right things like all the time, uh, not just occasionally. Um, so that's something that we're always emphasizing with our players on both sides of the ball and we'll continue to do. We'll go to Charlie Potter. Hey coach, just want to ask you about Landon Dickerson. Uh, what has his physical playing style and approach meant to the offensive line and really the whole offense? Uh, he's got great leadership. He's got a great personality, plays with a lot of toughness. Um, you know, really somebody that I think has made a tremendous impact on our team in a very positive way. Uh, so it's a great example in terms of his leadership. Uh, he's smart. Uh, he makes a lot of line calls. I think he helps the guys around him play better. Um, so it's been really, really positive thing for us all the way around. And his performance has been very consistent, and he's played very well all year long as well. We'll go to Tony Sakalas. Nick. This morning, you talked about the importance of special teams. Considering Devontae Smith's success at punt return, is there any thought of keeping him there at once bowling returns to full strength? Uh, I, I look at it a little different. I think we have confidence in both guys. Uh, this, um, you know, Jaden, Blues and Jaden Waddle, um, Slade having to do it, Smitty having to do it has just, you know, sort of created more depth at the position. Um, we even had Patrick back back there for, I think, one. All right, so it's it's forced us to develop other guys at that position, which I think is healthy long term. And I think we're always going to put the guy back there that we feel like gives us the best chance to, A, secure the ball, and B, um, you know, make an explosive play in a punt return. Unless we have a follow-up, we'll finish up with James Ogletree. Yeah, coach, when an offensive line has guys pulling and moving around, how does that affect defenders gap assignments? Um, well, I, I think that, um, I don't know how to explain this, but I mean, obviously, you know, linebackers key linemen as well as flow. Uh, so when somebody pulls, you know, everybody has your, your gap blocking. All right, so you're kind of down, down, and then guys are pulling to kick out. So everybody's going to jump over and fit differently, you know, on those kind of plays as this, as opposed to a man blocking play or zone blocking play. So, um, you know, but I think having all three of those types of plays in your offense uh, probably is really a positive thing. Um, and we try to do all three of them efficiently and effectively. All right, Coach, thank you for your time. All right, thank you.